these yaks, I just love them. Look at them, look at them. They're so amazing. There's more innate Himalayan knowledge of one of those than any amount of humans who have ever climbed Everest. These guys can just smell the danger. I love them. Five thousand meters, Jimmy. Almost five thousand. <clears throat> so this is our first big pass. Yeah. We're a good idea. Cool. Yeah. Do we have one of these for every pass, Jimmy? Yes. This is called Lapsa. Lapsa. Yeah. Again, asking for the protection. Yes. From the New Valley, that the local deities from the New Valley. Sure. And giving our thanks to our previous uh, previous uh, deity from the other okay. valley here. Cool. Wonderful. Getting people and goods over this terrain is how the Lyaps have traded for more than 500 years. But at 5,000 meters, even yaks can run into trouble. Hi, Kelly. What's, what's the problem, my friend? How are you? <laughs> Tommy, what's the, what's the latest? Mm. It's too high. It's up ah. here, is it? Really? Um, so what, what's the solution, do you think? Yaks can sense danger sometimes. So sometimes they piece a home through the snow and they don't move no matter you whip them. And sometimes they just lie down here, what you see there. I know, don't I? You can walk and see, like. Yeah, yeah let's go. Right. Right. So, so uh, Kile is going to show us. Sure. And there's no way around it either side. Yeah, you can see here. The thing is, the yak just goes in much further than us, doesn't it? Could we not shovel it or make a path? How far is this? It's not that deep. It doesn't seem that bad. I don't want to push anyone because it's not my place. But I was wondering if there's any option. If there was any option, it would be good. But I don't, you know, we can't push anyone. But if we can come up with an idea or maybe our people shovel a path, <coughs> something it would help them but it's up to you my friend i i don't want to put any pressure in any direction i, I just want to offer advice or help <laughs> 